Three three Cub is probably the best defense in Madden twenty four right now. And in this video, we're gonna be talking just a little bit about kind of what makes it super super good and what I've been learning uh, over the last little bit running this defense exclusively. There's a lot of really cool things that you can do with this defense. I dropped a full little ebook. Uh, on this defense on my school.com community. I also dropped kind of a, a different version of that ebook on the YouTube channel completely for free. So if you guys want to check the school page out, um, that's where you can get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. And that um, is only $10. So for just $10, you get access to literally everything that I do on offense, on defense that I know about both Madden and college football. And then if you want to get the free version of the defense, that's going to be linked or um, that's going to be on the channel. Uh, you guys can just go uh, check out the channel for that. So I'm actually in Bears playbook, too. I've been kind of uh, just going back to tight slots. I think just the way the game plays right now, tight slots is really good. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do with tight slots that you just can't really do. Uh, and, and it's also really good against man coverage. So, uh, because a lot of people are running this double Mabel, basically cover two shells. At this point in the year, a lot of people are running cover two shells. Bench is really good against cover two. It's like one of the best cover two plays in the game. And then the other cool part about tight slots is that it has just a ton of ways to beat man coverage. That's kind of my main formation that I'm running right now. And then I'm going to kind of mix in some other stuff from Bears. Bears is really good. The only real reason why Bears, I think, wasn't ran more at the highest levels this year was due to its red zone not being super up to par, but with angry runs and all that stuff, I feel like, you know, you can kind of make do with that at this point in the year. So, and if you do want to get my full Bears offensive ebook uh, with Bunch Strong, with tight slots and all that stuff, that's linked. Uh, that's also in the school page. You get everything for uh, just 10 bucks. So you get everything by being a member. This is my favorite. This is a really good trip, Steve, that a lot of people don't know about. Do this and basically all I have to do is guard the running back. Really good defense. Yeah, I mean, and the cool part is like the free book we did on this was literally over an hour long, and it literally it, I walked through step by step not only how the blitz works but how the blitz works against the best formations in the game, how to stop RPOs, how to stop RPO reads, how to stop the run, how to stop the rollout stuff. I went over literally everything in it. So again, that that's. That's um, you guys can get access to that literally within seconds. So, all right. So we go to tight slots. Love this formation. Uh, there's so much you can do with it. Anytime you're in a new formation, though, and this is really important to say, anytime you're in a new formation or something that you have not ran a lot, you're bound to miss some reads, right? So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, I'm very. It's very likely that I'll be slow because I literally. I just have not ran a ton of tight slots this year, but I just think the formation itself is so good. And at this point in the year with a lot of people kind of going back to man to man, I think that this is the best man beating formation. It's in my opinion, it's the best man, man beating formation in Madden over the last at least three years and maybe the last four tight slots halfback week. Super good formation. So we're off to a good start here against my man Smazi. And uh, we'll see how the we'll see how the defense uh, fares up. 3-3 Cub literally has the best blitz in the game. It's one of the hardest blitzes to pick up from a basic pass protection system. And when the blitz it's also going to come in super fast. So the way the blitz works, it, it just comes in super fast. The other cool part about it, so like this uh, my opponent here, he's going to run the ball. What often is going to happen is this also is a really good alignment to shoot most runs. So this is another reason why 3-3 Cub is so good is because now not only does it stop the pass um, and its ability to, to do that, but it's also going to do a really good job you know, of stopping most of the, the running plays. We see there, nice old D. Man, my defense is looking sharp. It's a good showing <laughs> first game. Let's see if the offense can still keep cooking. The other thing that I – there's a, another really slept-on formation. A lot, I feel like people don't – the main reason people don't call this formation is because it's it takes forever to get to it, <laughs> honestly. But this um, this formation right here, this uh, tight way off, I have a little mini 
little mini guide on it on the channel. And we did do uh, some stuff in the in the on the website about this. I think this formation is really fun to run. It's really good. It's a really good formation. A lot of people don't run it. It's one of the newer ones. And anytime something's new, people don't typically run it. But that's our first game. We'll get into another one for you here in a minute. All right, we're in a game two against my man Smitty the Boy. And I uh, wanted to drop a little tip. I, I, I've talked about this some, but I just wanted to show it real quick here. So when you're going into setting up your defense, for this defense in particularly, um, I need to make a lot of substitutions. I have to sub basically everybody out, and then I have to sub them back into those positions. Uh, and the reason to do this uh, is because it's going to give us a, a package. And when, sometimes when you do different packages, the game changes where they're at. So you see here, I'm a subbing out and subbing back in. I was about to get quick hiked. And as you see right here, um, I'm able to just pause the game. And if you just didn't know this, the I'm still going to struggle. But the, the uh, thing resets. Uh, it completely resets. So you can go through, set up your plays, and, and voila. Obviously, you can burn a timeout. I didn't want to have to do that. The only reason I didn't do that was I got clicked off, and, uh, unfortunately. But anyway, what this allows us to do is if we click our packages to the left, we can go to free safety one inside. We're going to turn our match coverage on, and then we're going to turn our auto alignment to man and auto flip on. And this is a really good way to run this defense because you can use uh, basically match coverage thirds to uh, cause a lot of havoc. There you see there, big John Randall. John Randall is probably the best budget. I would consider him a, a fairly decent you know, budget card here and there you see now we're able to kind of I actually got <laughs> that kind of sucks I don't know <laughs> I think what happened there was my tight end was manned up to the tight end and he just lasered me because I was trying to put my sometimes you get caught uh, in a new defense just like in a new offense I was talking about this a little bit ago this is why whenever you're running a new defense you never want to just like run it for a game or two and then abandon it you want to run it for like a couple of games because you're still getting the muscle memory down of what you're doing. When you see a formation like that, that you really don't see very often. Sometimes you're putting, trying to put somebody in a zone, but you're clicking and you're, you're on the wrong icon or whatever. And then you can get quick hiked. And that just basically that fixes itself uh, with a little bit of repetition. In my experience, that will be, you know, like the least of your worries. So Nothing to worry about really long term, but just something, you know, that you kind of need to be um, just just mindful of. All right. So setting up my offense, there's not a ton you have to do uh, to set up bears. The biggest thing is get, getting tight slots dialed in. And I think I'll just try to see if I can just snap this. I'm trying to just get on a hash here. Perfect. All right, so Seth's going to bring up a second and nine. And just go to the setup here, trying to get to the, trying to get to the right hash here. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm going to get KO'd. <laughs> awesome. All right. So our base play here is corner strike. Corner strike super good. I might burn, I might run a little bit more bunch strong. Tight slots is super good for man. Um, it's okay in zone. I would say it's it's better suited to beat man coverage. Uh, but it certainly can, uh, certainly can beat beat uh, beat zone. I'll go to this setup here. Huh? See how this works. A little freestyle setup. Running back route that didn't work. <laughs> That's why you don't freestyle. <laughs> and so you're seeing right off the rip, like when you run a new scheme, when you run a, even if you've ran it before, but when you haven't ran it in a while, or you're coming back to stuff. The muscle memory is just not there. You know, sometimes just the you just make mistakes that you wouldn't make otherwise. All right, should be a little better this time. Yeah, he's gonna throw that same thing. We're gonna get a pick. <laughs> I can't believe he just snapped through that. Yeah, so like last time I was trying to put the left side safety in the middle third to prevent that, and unfortunately I, I put the uh, <laughs> I put the tight end side safety in a middle third or something and it just did not work out too well for me so all right let's start cooking in the offense here let's see if i can make that throw that was actually a really good throw brady's kind of been selling me a lot i think the way this guy's playing madden i could run i think it's mesh spot yeah it's mesh spot 
I could literally run mesh spot all day. I might just, just as like a challenge. And of course I say that and I get bagged. That's crazy. <sighs> tough scene, tough scene. Okay, so we're going to run tight slots all game. And we're going to not suck. A little tight and flat. And he might be running some man coverage. That's why I kind of agged back to the ball. That was a technique you could do last year to prevent aggressive catch animations. I want to use this tight end crosser. I don't know how to use it, though. Let me just do this. See if I can just throw this drag. There we go. These drags are so good this year. Like, it's such a simple route, but... This is probably the best drags have been since Madden... I'm trying to think the year. Madden 19? i go four verticals here. And this time the running back's going to win. <laughs> awesome. All right. So we get on the board. Got to get a go down and get a stop. The big thing with tight slots is I, I just find I really like the layout of tight slots. I think it's a really good formation, especially in a year like last year. Last year was by far the best tight slots have, has probably ever been. Madden 22, though, tight slots was really good. And and I think this year it's really good, too. I've got it. I've had an ebook on this for the last three years, I think. I wonder if you go back to Madden 21 and try tight slots the way you see. I've always thought I've always wondered this, but I always wonder, like, if stuff that I find in Madden 24, for example, if I go back to Madden 21, I wonder if that stuff, some of those some of those concepts, maybe not everything, but some of the stuff would probably uh, carry over really well. Kind of anticipated a run right there. And there you see, I mean, this is, this defense is not, not really have to worry, really don't have to worry about the run. Like the run is going to get stopped. The pressure is going to be there, whether they run play action, you don't have to worry about that either. It's, that's why I like this blitz. It's just super, uh, super, super good. Get a nice press there on the left side, drag the guy down. Get him in a fourth and 27. Now the defense is starting to come together. <laughs> One of the things that I think is really underrated is, as you can see, he picks his formation. I get 15 seconds um, to kind of to kind of choose what I'm going to do. And I do think that's something that a lot of people should do more of because you can think, okay, he's coming on this formation. That means I want to do X, Y, Z to be able uh, to stop it. I think it's a super, super effective strategy. All right, game number three. Hopefully the defense can keep cooking uh, for us. It's been playing pretty good. And what's really good about this is, like I said, the run defense is really effective. It's really simple from it. You have KOs everywhere. You have pressing. You can put your zones. 3-3 three, three Cub has always been really good for just, just the balance of, like, stopping the run and and kind of being still being pretty good against the pass. I think this defense has always been really good about that. Big, big Joe Alt with the pick early. So we can jurtle out of there. Nice. So New York's finest not quite getting the job done on his first drive. Let's run a little uh I think this split close formation could be crazy. This put oh here we go. Here we go. We got a field goal blocker. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of playing against field goal blockers. Thank you for going and quitting now. We'll we'll get you one more. <laughs> All right, looks like uh, New York's finest wanted his get back here, so we'll see if the defense can uh continue to get the job done. A little three three cub. And uh Mike Blitz zero base. So the basic idea here is that we're shifting away from the tight end every single time. That's the main thing you're doing. And then your the blitz is the blitz. Obviously, the coverage behind it is is kind of up to you. You could run a man base. You don't have to, um, you know, or you can run a zone base like what we're doing here. New York's finest just out here slinging the rock. Oh, I think we're gonna need to just do a little 
<laughs> little snap throw D with little vert hooks. Nice run. Big Brees Hall. Again, that's what I love about 3-3 Cub is that 3-3 Cub is so good against the run. So you're not really going to get ran on. We'll have. Love that. And there you see that. <laughs> That's what one step ahead, bottleneck, all that stuff. That's what that does for you. All right, let's see if uh, let's see if New York New York's finest is going to grace us with a game, or if he's going to run field goal block every play. All right, looks like he's actually going to play here. I think he jumped in three three cub. All right, we'll get out to Bo. Take what the defense gives us. I have an ebook on this uh, this tight wide off formation. I think this tight wide off formation is fun as crap. I, it's, I just really think it's a good formation. This tight end, this corner route, really good. I wish that playmaker was better. I feel like that playmaker sometimes works against man, and then other times it just doesn't. All right, here we're going to go a little smash return setup. So this is how you can take concepts from one uh, offense and kind of put them back in the others. Let me see here. Let me see if I can just lob this up and over. That did not work. <laughs> Good D. Oh, man, this is how New York's finest is going to get his first points. I'm out here thinking I can run tight way off on him, and he's out here just picking me off and – Sacking me and doing everything. All right, so we're going to have to got ourselves a game here, gentlemen. We got ourselves a game against uh, New York's finest. Let's see if we can get it done, boys. All right, Mike Blitz. Do this. Let's take that away. I, I really like that I don't have to worry about runners. I, I'm telling you, I just I cannot stand when the run is good. The cool part about three three cub too, like see how good that look at how good that blitz is. Um, the other cool part about three three cub is because the way, just the way the formations laid out and where the safeties are, I think it's a real significant advantage because I could do stuff like walk this guy out, put him in press man because I don't he's like a he's basically like a wild card. Like I don't have to blitz him for him to be effective. Let's see if we can just KO that. Very nice. It's going to be fourth of 25, and he is going to be conservative and trust his really, really good defense. Let's get away from that. All right, let's see if we can put a real drive together here out of bunch or uh, out of tight slots. And this is the tight slots in Bears. So the one drawback to this tight slots is it does not have it does not have um what's the formation um it does not have the play flood oh i shouldn't have thrown that i still might dot him up though that's a beam <laughs> slow little touch pass and just like that new york's finest is out of here <laughs> 